it's an issue, and I, I can't really answer why maybe at this point, but I think we're going we're gonna to find out. As high school football teams across the state prep for their first games of the season, West Windsor Plainsboro Athletic Director Ken Mason has been worried whether his district would have a season at all. Our numbers were low. We were, we were down to 24 kids for the whole program. The district has been struggling to find enough athletes to fill their football roster. Mason and school leaders petitioned the state to merge their two high school teams, West Windsor, Plainsboro North and South. Combined, the schools have well over 2,000 students enrolled, but only a few dozen interested in the program. The state listened and uh, our league was very supportive, but it just didn't work out. They wouldn't let us combine here at South. Our numbers at South are are, are struggling as well. It may sound strange for a large school district in a state where athletics loom large, but the problem is indicative of a national trend. According to the National Federation for State High School Associations, roughly 26,000 fewer boys played high school football for the 2015-2016 school year than just six years earlier. But when we checked in with New Jersey's Governing Athletic Association, Assistant Director Jack Dubois said there's no red flag like here yet. The decline from 2015 to 16 is really insignificant. It's 0.5 percent, less than 1 percent. Uh, we had 85 or 75 student difference from 15 to 16 participating in football. Now I can, I can say that I think there are multiple reasons why there is a decline. Number one basically would be the uh, parental safety concerns. Injuries and concussions are a big one, especially as the summer headlines have been peppered with major studies out about the brain disease CTE being present in 99 percent of deceased NFL players participating in the research. But there's a lot more at play here, too. Number two would be the single sport athlete. And number three, the demographics of many of the communities here in New Jersey have changed you know, over the last 20 years. And football is not part of their demographic culture. For the seniors and athletes looking to make a go of it, the dwindling participation is a big blow. Your seniors over at North are going to have to play JV this year if they want to play at all. That's right. The NJSIAA is blocking the school district's appeal to co-op the teams, saying it goes against bylaws. Especially in, in a contact sport like football, they are concerned about schools becoming a mega, you know, a powerhouse. A powerhouse. I'm a firm believer that children who have the opportunity to participate in sports, particularly competitive sports, it prepares them for life. It develops character. So Senator Shirley Turner is proposing legislation to enable districts with multiple schools and a decline in athletic participation to combine teams. We'll have to make a decision. Either we're going to go independent and that means we'll go out and get our own schedule because after we declared that we cannot play varsity. There were several other schools in the state that dropped as well. So for now, West Windsor Plainsboro North will have to play with just a JV team while they wait for that pending vote on the legislation, which comes in December after the season is over. In West Windsor, Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.